Hi grade 10 student. So in today's video, we are going to do analysis of transaction that you also know it as a accounting equation. So obviously we are going to deal with assets, equity and liability. So at the end of this video, guys, you are going to learn how are you going to know that this account must be debited, this account must be credited. Very simple. Make sure that you watch until the end of this video so that you will learn. So this is the question paper that was written in 2023 around March in the province of Limpompo. So if you check or under a grade 10 a playlist, you will find other videos that I did for previous papers like 2022, 2021 and many, many other years. So, okay, let's start with our question paper that we have. Okay, it was question two on this question paper and it was contained 35 marks okay so number one they give us a uh, use the following information from the book of mikate eco traders to the to analyze the given transaction according to the format provided in the answer book okay then the first one they give us example they said that the owner took cash with 400 from business bank account for her own use so the answer book that has been provided guys is this one okay so let's try to answer uh, the example first they give us example that the owner took cash from the bank account for her own use once the owner took something for personal use we call it what a drawings okay and the drawings we know very well that it's fall under what equity so this is the principle that you have to learn guys you must know that when we are dealing with assets assets is always increase on the debit and decrease on the credit equity increase on the credit side and decrease this side so liability is the same as equity okay it's minus and a plus decide so this principle guys is very important because it's the one that is going to guide you how are you going to debit which one are you going to credit okay now the owner took a net worth equity is the same as net worth for his business which means that equity is going down because something has been taken outside the business with the owner took something which is cash from the business for her personal use which means that the assets or the value of the equity is going down okay which means that when we check our equity it decreases what on the on the debit side which means that we are going to debit okay example we are going to do it here it's going to be drawings and what what do we credit he took cash cash is a bank is the same as bank which means that bank is going down assets is decreasing on the credit side which means that it's going to be bank and the amount is going to be minus 400 minus 400 so this sign is very important because now we know that bank will credit which means that under assets because bank fall under assets we're just going to do it to show the minus equity because we debit we're going to take the same side of minus liability is not affected in this case okay then 2.1 received the 1000 from bank a monthly interest on fixed deposit okay the business received cash which means that bank has increased the balance which means that bank is on the plus now assets increase okay we're gonna have bank then what caused bank increase what caused bank increase is because of interest which means that we're gonna credit interest on fixed deposit very simple okay the amount is 1000 is gonna be plus 1000 and even our equity is gonna be 1000 equity we record all income and expense the difference is that under equity if it's an income we're gonna show a plus sign 
expand, we're gonna show a minus sign. Very simple, okay? Then the following one, paid 15,400 equipment solution to purchase equipment using the banking app. Okay, the money goes out, assets is going to decrease, which means that the bank now is going to be a minus because we paid, okay? We paid 15,400, okay? So, we purchase equipment. Obvious equipment is an asset is going to increase, which means that on the same under assets, because equipment is an asset as well, we're gonna have another plus. It's a plus minus on the same account, and this two is not affected. It happened, guys, that transaction affect only assets, only equity, only liability. Simple. As long as another one is debited, another one is credit, and we don't just debit and we don't just credit. You first check money goes out bank that's why it's this side when money goes out equipment come in with debit it's a plus okay then the third one okay the second one yes it's a third one 223 paid 2400 to, uh, to me car traders in settle, settlement of the business account after receiving four percent discount okay we paid 2,400 to our creditors. How are we going to adjust this one? Obvious, our bank money goes out. How much goes out? 2,400. Okay. But we receive 4% discount, which means that we need to do what? To do a calculation. A 4% uh, of amount that we owe okay how do we know a calculation is goes in this way okay let me show the calculation we have 2400 that we paid but we receive a discount of four percent 2400 we multiply by okay we are looking for amount that we we owe before we pay this amount we're gonna say in this way guys let me show here 2400 is the amount that we we paid multiply by we are looking for total before what discount then we say divide by 96 how did we get 96 because this amount is 96 percent is after what we subtracted four percent from 100 that's why we have 96 if you do this calculation you are going to get liability of 2500 which means that the difference between these two is going to be 100 rand 100 rand is what is discount this 100 rand is a discount okay now let me go back to that question again uh, yes we paid 2400 this is the man that goes out of our business okay the, but the four percent of discount is going to be income to us because we didn't pay it okay which means that in this case we're going to say discount received discount received this one is our liabilities a creditors control Okay, I'm going to expand it into more detail so that you can understand. Discount received, guys, is in income. It falls under what? Equity, which means that it's a plus. Okay, now 2,500 is going to be a minus. Because we pay, we no longer have what? Liability. We reduce liability on the debit side. That's why our creditors control has been debited. Okay. The following one uh, issued a credit note of 540 to S. Makua for goods returned by her. The cost price it was 360. So in this journal, we are going to have four items because this uh, company is using what we call perpetual. When we record uh, sales, we must record what a cost of sales at the same time. Okay, 
this uh, account is going to be like this. On the first one, inventories come back because the customers return, which means that our asset is going to increase because trading stock come back. Our asset is increasing and we debit what? We credit cost of sales. It's like we are retaining cost, cost of sales. Okay, and cost of sales amount they said is how much? It's 360. It's going to be 360 and 360. It's going to be plus because the cost of sales is a return in this case. Okay, it's like income. Okay, and another one, we're gonna have data allowance. Once customer returns something, guys, we must have a data allowance. Uh, which is equity and the task control. The task control. The task control, guys, is an asset. It's an asset. In other words, this person no longer owe this amount of 540. We have to subtract it under the task control. It's like if you, you purchase a TV, guys, and you find something that you don't like under that TV and it's still within seven days, you can return it and they're not going to charge you, which means that the debt must be subtracted. The trust allowance must be adjusted as well. This account is not affected. Okay, this is how you should do it. So there's a lot of marks. Four, four, eight marks from only one transaction. Okay, 2.5 bought a trading stock from Corona Supplier for 8,000. Okay, we bought a trading stock is going to be debited because assets is increasing and creditors control liability increase. Okay, which means that we are going to say 8,000 a plus and 8,000 this side liability increase because we purchased on credit. Okay, paid interest on loan with you at interest rate of 15%. For four months, amount of loan is seventy-five thousand. How do we calculate this interest? Multiply by fifteen percent, and we also multiply by what? Okay, this is calculation, guys. Multiply by four over twelve. This is how you do this calculation because they said only four months. It's four months out of twelve because this fifteen percent is for twelve months. Okay, then it's gonna give you interest on loan which is expense must be debited, interest on loan and the bank is going to decrease now because it's interest that we are paying. Okay, if you do this calculation, it's going to show you amount of 3,750, 3,750. It's a minus, minus, money goes out of the business. Expense is always on the on the debit side okay then the last one the owner team Miteko invested four thousand uh, directly into business account as her additional capital contribution what do you think about this one think about it uh, while i'm explaining this thank you so much guys if you have watched so far please 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 if you have been subscribed to this channel it's free of charge Make sure that you subscribe so that you, you can support us so that we can record more many videos that are going to assist you. Please make sure that you subscribe, like the video and share with friends who are doing accounting so that they can also learn. You can also purchase a study guide guys. It's only 50 rand. When you purchase a study guide, we're going to add you into our WhatsApp group. So if you have any question, you can just ask into our whatsapp group so whatsapp group has been created for those who purchase a study guide for the rest of the year by only 50 rand okay now let's do the last one so the owner invested 40,000. this is capital contribution guys because he invested into a business okay capital uh, must be it's going to be bank this side and capital this side. Why? Because bank money has increased and worthy, which is equity, has also increased. Okay, the amount is 40,000 
40,000. It's going to be plus and plus. That's it, guys. Thank you so much, so much for watching. Go to grade 10 playlist and watch other videos. I'm going to see you on the next one.